Hey guys, check out this foam mate. I designed this to make aerated concrete or aircrete. What it is, is a foam generator. I mean, that's just like shaving cream. And the best part is, it only costs like 25 or 30 bucks to make, and all the materials to make it are just common building materials, easily accessible at Home Depot, and it is absolutely crazy. It works awesome. Oh, great. Okay guys, what I have here is just a uh, piece of two inch black PVC uh, pipe. Uh, you can get it at Home Depot. Let me see, I'll cut off a piece. It really doesn't matter how long it is. Let's just, let's just do 18 inches. And then I'll cut another piece that's, um, let's say six or maybe a little more than six inches. And just cleaning up the edges a little bit. Stainless steel wool. Actually a scrub pad. But my wife says I can't use her good ones. <laughs> this was my wife's idea. Let's hope it works. Yeah, I needed something just to hold the stainless steel back so it didn't plug the hole. I think that's enough. What do you think? Cool. I could put both in. That might be better. Any old valve will do, as long as it's barbed on the head. I just happen to have this one laying around. Mommy, help Papa. Mama, help you. You're gonna help me. Thank you, buddy. Happens in the way. Oh, are you helping? Good job, buddy. Good job. I wonder if I should have put glue on them threads and done it permanent. I just don't want it to leak and bubble out of there. If it does, I'll take it apart. Sounds good.
Is that right? Yes. The valve, just so that for the optics, so everybody can see what it's doing. Mommy, this is. Mm-hmm. You like soapy water, do you? You're really interested, aren't you? I was just guessing that this would be about a half a gallon in this tube. Oh. Oops. I was pretty close, babe. Oh yeah, look how thick it's coming out now. Okay guys, back to the drawing board. <laughs> What's on your head, dude? <laughs> he just threw it on you, Papa. Oh, right here. You see it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And so now uh, we're going to make a concrete brick out of uh, aircrete.
I let it cure in the molds and kept it moist and wet and covered for about 24 hours and then I took it out of the mold and let it cure uh, but you know just in the defense of aircrete typically concrete takes at least 28 days to gain its full strength even after seven days it only has about 40 percent these have only been curing for a couple of days we did one that I molded just what was left over in a old bread pan you can see my boys took a pin to it before it had set up um, you just can't leave anything laying around with my boys <laughs> but uh, it it's a nice little brick and I put some sand down here just to give it because this is all uneven just to give it a little bit of that and I mean this has only been setting up for two days and I can stand on this thing it's got some structural strength you see it just broke um, but like I said concrete you can still you can see it's still really moist and hasn't completely set up but look at all the little teeny microscopic cells and air bubbles in there I mean, check this stuff out. It's incredible. I say it's going to be the building, um, that it's going to be the building material of the future. And I kind of believe it because it's light, it has insulative value. And if you spray the right coatings on the outside, its structural strength is really intense are you and I guess it's uh, impervious to uh, flame as well I I don't think you'd ever have to worry about this being any type of a fire hazard I'll tell you that much look no it's the insulative value it does not absorb any heat at all it is crazy Look, it's getting red hot right now. Can you see the redness today? And we're in broad daylight. I, I can't feel any heat. It's still cool to the touch on the other side. I was thinking about using it as part of a heat riser and a tube that I was making for a, a rocket mass heater. But I've since kind of changed my mind because this is straight Portland cement. And although you can't start a fire with it, it's not going to burn, it's not going to melt, um, it's going to be a great building material. I just don't know that it would be good for a long period of time, for many, many years, under intense heat. Um, so I have a, another lightweight mix that I'm going to use. If that were a normal piece of concrete, uh, it would be more than a four-year-old could handle. Here, buddy. Show me how strong you are. Wow. Is it heavy? Huh? They won't dunk. Can you lift it over your head? Yeah. Ugh. Wow. You're so strong. You're so strong, buddy. But it's it's really light. <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm really happy with the foam mate. Okay, guys. Here's the foam mate. If you're interested in building one for yourself for some small home projects like planners or whatever, you can go ahead and click on the link below and purchase everything you need to do it all at once. The foam mate performed awesome uh, for me as I use it. Now, uh, the tutorial video gave some good examples of how I'm going to use it for my family, how you guys choose to use it is of your own discretion but I would highly suggest when you're using it and putting it together that on every item the assembly of the PVC the PVC glue you read all the safety labels and understand all the hazards and also understand um, the correct way to put this together so that it will hold up under the 90 pounds of pressure hey guys this foam mate is incredible for generating foam for air crate. I want anybody who wants to be able to do this, to do these home projects with air crate, to be able to do it. So, I have a link at my Etsy store up here. 
It has a PDF with complete materials list, illustrations, and instructions on how to assemble it. You can save yourself a lot of time and energy and experimentation uh, by just uh, going there and being able to download those things.